As temperatures turn to freezing, Chicago is moving forward with its plan to build a winterized base camp to temporarily house up to 2,000 migrants. The reality in New York City has strained resources, adding fuel to the fire of criticism from Republicans on Capitol Hill, blaming the Biden administration's policies for incentivizing millions to come to the United States. This is a national security crisis. Some have even threatened to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, as others sound alarm bells about criminals and drugs getting into the country, including 118 pounds of fentanyl seized on Thanksgiving Day alone. ICE officials sharing this video from last week of migrants being sent back to their home countries, but critics say the majority are allowed to stay here as they await processing for their asylum claims, which can take months and often years. One reason Republicans in the Senate say they have tied changes in immigration policy to an aid package for Israel and Ukraine. The American people are simply saying, look, you're asking for about $109 billion for defense purposes, but why aren't you fixing the policies at the southern border where you've had 8.4 million encounters in just well since Biden took office. Many Democrats say they support more funding for border security. Some even signaling they'd be open to bigger changes to asylum policy and even bringing back the remain in Mexico policy. You can always work with the um, uh, UN High Commission of Refugees. They can be involved. They can provide the security uh, while we process them. So yeah, we can have a safe stay in Mexico process. The border security component of this aid package for Israel and Ukraine is supported by many moderates, but progressives say it goes way too far, and conservatives say it doesn't go nearly far enough. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzau.